What is up, Legionnaires? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mark, and today I have a very exciting video. It's always a blast. It's always a privilege when I get to do one of these huge box openings from McFarland Toy Store. Uh, we'll talk about all that. We'll check out what's in this box, and I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's get into it. <music> shout out to the homies at big time collectibles check them out on their website on social media you can find them on whatnot and if you need anything cleaner press justin over on instagram can hook it up you can find his link in the description let him know you found him via the channel and as always a huge shout out to my local comic shop abx comics and games there's a link to their facebook group down below as well do not miss out on these fantastic folks in the description guys new packages here if you follow me on instagram you know that i kind of tease what was happening that i was very excited that a package has arrived and uh uh, I am. It's not very, very often I get to do one of these big box openings from the McFarland Toy Store. <clears throat> if you follow my shorts, you know that I, I collect a lot of McFarland toys, but as I try to keep it very focused, very, very focused, uh, pretty much with the movie figure stuff. I've always absolutely loved movie toys. I don't know why. Ever since I was little, just something about it. I love when they uh, comics and movies crisscross, and this is uh, one of those times. This is when, like, not just, like, comics and toys are crisscrossing, but comics, toys, and my childhood are all coming together like butt cheeks for this one. So, uh, and they're doing something very, very unique. Uh, check out the top of the box. These are packaged nice. This has got to be the smallest box I got from them, but super cool packaging face-to-face -face there. And uh, we're going to pull, pull these out one at a time. But uh, this is the first time any of these figures have had the red on the package for all I know. I've got tons of boxes here next to me, but these are the first time that I've seen the boxes themed to match the film. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have red on the side, Poison Ivy. They first started teasing these, I think, at, God, was it San Diego Comic-Con? There was like a, that was about the time that the leak started coming out that we we're getting this series. And then at New York City Comic-Con, they showcased them like straight up. It looks pretty decent. So Poison Ivy looks awesome. Like Poison Ivy, it's got the Uma Thurman look to her. Crazy good detail on the outfit there. You got the cool movie trading card. Now I'm looking at this body piece from uh, Mr. Freeze here, and there's too big of a gap right there to there. That makes me nervous. A lot of times uh, those will get raised up when you put the legs in. The legs will kind of hold that middle piece up higher on the torso. But uh, the likeness of Arnold Schwarzenegger that we saw absolutely blew my mind absolutely blew my mind it looked like he spent the farm on getting the rights for the likenesses of these characters but yo this is just gorgeous looking collect to build mr freeze sides got her name and the film that's in the awesome batman and robin logo the back it's got the picture of him right there and then of course the directions and the side is a partial window with the name of poison ivy again so let's pull the next one here so uh what i think god whenever if you're a kid when all this stuff was coming out in theaters everybody Love this dude right here. Chris O'Donnell as Dick Grayson was epic. It was awesome. Uh, dude, I don't know how many times I got my hair cut and I said, I want my hair cut to look like Robin and like, okay. And then they just cut it however they're going to cut it anyways. But, yo, this is awesome. As a kid, I didn't understand why we didn't get him in the classic Robin outfit for that fourth movie. Then as I got a little bit older, I'm like, yo, this is the Nightwing outfit. This is really the first time we saw a Nightwing suit on film like that's straight up the nightwing outfit and then when you get into the new 52 era he was even rocking the red so that was a really really awesome to see it's really awesome to have that like solidified in movie history now this one comes with it looks like some uh, ice pieces like maybe some ice effects as well as mr freeze's arms can't really see the card back there very good it looks like it's just a close-up face portrait yeah same same image that is down there the back is the same and again the cool packaging with the red on it yo this looks fantastic unfortunately it doesn't look like he comes with any uh accessories it also looks like he has completely closed hands which uh that's it's kind of a it's kind of a bummer i mean it's not a bad thing but yeah why wouldn't you at least leave one hand partially open that would have been that would have been great all right let's get to the next one let's get to the next one who we got next Pulling them out in the order they're in the box. We have none other than, boom, Batgirl. Alicia Silverstone's portrayal of Batgirl in the movie. Uh, Bar Barbara Pennyworth, I guess. It was, wasn't was Barbara Gordon, but it was uh, Barbara all the same. 
Now, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Look, this has definitely got her likeness, but man, you know, it's not McFarlane's fault. Again, closed fists on this one. No accessories with her, but it's just detail on the figure, but just flat color. You know, it's just, that's how her suit was. Just one color across the board. I would have almost, this sounds crazy, but I would have almost maybe liked to see uh, a wave with them in those final suits that they wore to fight Mr. Freeze at the end when they have the silver and the black and they have the extra pieces. She had her helmet on with the ears on it, but all the same, that's really cool. There you go. You can see all the different textures in the outfit there, the belt, the high boots and everything. She too has clothes to this, which uh, is what it is. Kind of a weird, weird move there. Give them all close to this so far. Poison Ivy is open. She even had a uh, flower on her palm. You know that she would like that's a really good detail to the figure. Like she would blow the potion uh, or whatever. The pheromones off of the flower. But this one comes with the freeze ray. It comes with a little extension piece, probably to put on the end. It comes with the shoulder pads that will key into the torso. If you saw my YouTube shorts, I unbox McFarland figures all the time on there. Be sure to check them out. I did the flashpoint wave with the build a figure cyborg, and you can see in that a great example of how some of these shoulder pieces you can just unkey to take arms on and off with. But yeah, the likeness of Arnold Schwarzenegger in this face is uncanny. Look at that. 100% spot on. It's cool that you have the translucent blue around the head as well. Like they knocked that out of the park. The figure's pretty silver, a lot of silver going on with it with some blue accents, but the face, man, it's just. That's awesome. I can't wait to get him put together to see if he'll be slightly bigger than the rest. I really hope it's proportioned right, where he's taller than the other ones. Not by much. He's not like supposed to be towering, but he should be taller. And then last but not least, the piece de resistance. Holy crap, that is awesome. Close fist as well. But we have got George Clooney's Batman. Dun -dun 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 Batman. We got the legs in there, and they definitely are big. Those things are definitely thick, boys. There's the legs and some more ice pieces. We're getting tons of different ice pieces. I'm wondering where they're all going to uh, to go. These look like they might even snap onto his hands, maybe to give you some extra extra action there. But you can see some of the details and intricacies of the actual uh, legs there, like some of the stuff on the suit. It almost looks like a skeleton there. But one thing I thought was interesting that we didn't do like a five-figure set with a Build-A-Figure Bane. Like it, as goofy as Bane was in this movie, it was still Bane. Like uh, Poison Ivy hitting the thing like, yes, Bane. He was just, he was a weird portrayal of the character, but he was in the movie. And it would have been great to get him. Maybe he'll do him in a separate mega figure at some point. Who knows? But George Clooney's Batman suffering the same fate as Batgirl. He's just one color. Even in the movie, I don't get it why they didn't give him the yellow on the bat symbol, Val Kilmer had it, and I guess they always like to change it up a little bit. And looking at the figure, can confirm we've got nips. And I'm not saying that to be funny. If you were around for the Batman movie, everybody always used to rag on the fact that they put uh, nips on the bat suit. If you talk to Joel Schumacher, he modeled the bat suit mold after like the statue of David and wanted the nips on it, or just it was something that was overlooked. But it's there, so that's awesome. That's super awesome. The likeness of George Clooney on the face for this thing is really, really well done. This is not the first time we saw McFarlane's George Clooney Batman. This piece right here was included in one of those big box sets like they did. I did the unboxing of the Suicide Squad one here on the channel, but uh, they had Clooney in there. They had Batfleck, which was a re-release, uh, re uh, Michael Keaton Batman re-release, uh, Robert Pattinson Batman re-release, and the George and Val Kilmer Batman which uh, ironically enough, it's the Batman from the end of the film with the wider bat, bat uh, the ultimate Batman suit with the wider bat symbol. But all of those had cloth capes. I know people are huge fans of the cloth capes and I'm not against them, but I really like these rubber capes on these figures. But I'm, man, I'm kind of thinking like that set, the Michael Keaton in that big Batman set was the 89 version. We have the Flash movie version that was released solo, but that's the only way you can get that Michael Keaton 89 Batman without buying that sold out Batmobile. I've got the Flash Batmobile, the Keaton Batmobile from the Flash movie, but they did a separate one with Batman painted up like 89. So there's some, there's some like double buying in my future, I'm sure. But all in all, this set is fantastic. I'm so happy to have it. I uh, cannot wait to put together this Mr. Freeze. The kids are definitely going to be playing with these for sure. Toys are meant to be fun, meant to be played with.
But yeah, let's flash back through them one more time. And I want you to leave me a comment. Let me know which of these is your favorite. We had Batgirl, Poison Ivy, Robin or Nightwing, and Batman himself. So yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know which one's your favorite. And uh, man, now all I can think about is watching the movie and uh, trying to figure out how to get a hold of a Val Kilmer Batman. I, I held out on that Batman set knowing that this was coming, this had leaked, but I've seen future leaks, and uh, I haven't seen the Val Kilmer wave announced yet, but it's got to come, right? They got to do it. They got to do it. We need Tommy Lee Jones, Two-Face, Jim Carrey's Riddler, proper Robin, man. That when the red and blue, that'd be one to have, but I cannot wait to open these. I'm going to release all the unboxings and putting together this for freeze all on my shorts, uh, they will kick off Monday. And a huge shout out to everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel already. Go ahead and do that. It's absolutely free to do. And it's very, very, very uh, helpful for the channel. And if you want to support the channel even farther, be sure to check out the merch store down below. Pick up something cool for Christmas. Or hit that join button and become a channel member today and get in on the action. And until next time, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.